this new FL Studio beta update is getting a bit out of hand. And what I mean by that is these piano roll scripts are making it way too easy for producers now. And it's really as easy as just opening up a blank piano roll. And in a matter of seconds, you'll have a full chord progression. And I mean, this beta has been out for like two months now. And it's actually insane the amount of scripts the community has made already. And they really went into detail with this one. And in the past two months of the beta, I've done my fair share of research when it comes to scripts. Not like coding myself, because... I can't do that shit. And in this video, I'm just going to be covering my top five favorite scripts that I use every single day. And if you guys want to download these and try them out for yourself, I'll leave them down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. So starting off, if you struggle with counter melodies or coming up with like little accent notes, this auto harmonizer script is perfect for you. And before we get into the first one, let me just actually show you guys how to save these. So after you download and extract them, you have to go to documents and then under that you'll find image line, FL studio, settings, and then piano roll scripts. And as you can see, I saved a couple down here, but moving Moving on to the harmonizer, as soon as you open it up, you'll see a bunch of notes appear above your actual progression. And if you play around with the harmony range, you'll see it move up and down the piano roll. And the more you bump up the range width, it'll change the end of your melody to kind of just go more up in pitch. And then on the right, you just need to change your root note and the scale type to match your actual chord progression. Now I'll just mute the rest of the chord progression so that you can kind of hear what the harmonizer came up with. As you can see, this is a really fun script to play around with. Super helpful and super quick. And if you're struggling to finish a loop or a progression, this is perfect for you. Moving on, we have a script called Accelerate. And essentially what this does is it just speeds up or slows down your playback rate, but in the shape of your MIDI notes instead of the actual playlist. For example, if I turn up the acceleration here and kind of match it up with the first bar, you'll see over time it'll eventually double up in speed. And you can do exactly the same thing, slowing it down. And obviously with piano, it sounds a bit crazy, but you can imagine with snare rolls and any other instruments, it can be super helpful and save you a lot of time instead of doing a bunch of automation and being left with a cluttered project. Next, we have two of my favorite scripts at the moment. These are both super easy ways to generate chord progressions. The first one being called Chord Progression Tool. And as soon as you open it up, you'll see it is a lot to take in. And it took me a while to get used to this, but it is really, really fun to play around with. And as you can see, you've got your first, second, third, and fourth chord. First so you can change your root note and your scale. You can choose if you want to quantize the chord progression to a quarter, half, or full step. You can choose the length of your chords, and then you can just deep dive into an endless amount of possibilities. You can play around with your chord types. You can go from a triad to a power fifth, a ninth, a thirteenth. Like you can full on make a super intricate like jazz chord progression if you really want to. And whether you know music theory or not, this is just such a fun tool to use. And I highly recommend you guys checking this out. And now moving on to the second method, it's a bit more techy, but there's now a text to chord generator, which essentially just allows you to type in any chord progression and it just lays it down for you in the piano roll. And where this gets really interesting is we integrate ChatGPT to find a progression that you're looking for and you just copy paste it into the script. So for example, I asked, write me a piano chord progression in the music style of Tyler the Creator and it gave me these chords. So I'll just copy and paste that into the script and this is what it gave me. And that is a bit crazy to me how accurate that is and how easy that was. Like I said, these are my two favorite scripts so far and it's such a fun time to use it. I highly, highly recommend you guys trying this out. And now moving on to the last script, we have a script called Frequency Chop. And this essentially just gives you those like hyper pop glitch sound effects, but in your piano roll, as you can see, super simple to use. You can choose your notes and then play around with the tempo and the octaves to increase or decrease the chops.
So this script essentially just chops up your MIDI notes way more than the actual Chop It Full can. And this is only with FL keys. So you can imagine if you have one shots or any other sounds, you can really get some cool stuff out of this. And that is my top five scripts for this new FL Studio beta. I hope you guys enjoy it. Once again, if you guys want to download and use any of these scripts, I'll be sure to leave them down below. Thanks again for the constant love and support. And I'll see you guys in the next one.